<sighs> when, you, when you see me do like a face thing, you know net by now that I've usually found something either exciting or really, really funny or good. In this instance, I think I found something again, something really, really good. That is amazing. Oh my God, I think I Oh my God, I'm over the moon. I found silver, old silver. Get in. Hello everyone, welcome back to Griff Finds. So today we are back out again. However, we're not on a group dig. We're not in Derbyshire. We're in Dorset. I'm on a holiday with the family. And if you look back, if you remember back, if it was on my channel then, um, two years ago, um, a boy called Henry Refines was on this field and found a little fob seal um, over there somewhere. But it's the camping field right next door. Uh, sorry, it's the field right next door to the camping field. So it's literally a two second walk straight into detecting mode. Um, and what I'm also gonna talk to you guys about today is how I, or I as in me, dad, mom and Lucy, uh, get ourselves fields and permissions to go detecting on um, because it's quite a requested um, uh, thing to talk about through comments and stuff um, and uh, I know you've got other people who have done other videos on it in the past but this is just how I do it and how I recommend uh, people do it um, and what I do to maybe improve chances of getting more fields or permissions um, so I'll be talking about that today while detecting away in this field um, so I'm super excited because last time I found, like I said, a little fob seal. I put a picture up here um, and that was a bucket list for me because I've never found one before. So hopefully we find some pretty cool stuff again. Um, I remember we only detected this field um, for a couple of times and then we went and did a group dig with Marcus and Tom. Um, uh, so yeah, this field is pretty much undetected um, land. And I've also asked the farmer as well um, and they've said, yeah, no one's detected here in the last eight years. So fingers crossed something comes up. Um, I am really excited because uh, it's Dorset, I'm on holiday, let's just have a relax. I'll talk to you about my permissions and how I get them um, and improving the chances as we detect um, and integrate with finds and stuff. So let's do this and hopefully we we'll have something nice. I'll see you at the first. First signal on these fields, or this field, is uh, I think it's a spoon bowl, a silver one. Look at the colour on that, silver plated I think, sadly, but rang up in the 24 on the manticore. Always nice numbers, the ground's, the ground's very busy here, um, but yeah. I think, yeah, it is silver plated. Still a pretty cool find though. Nice. So I've been detecting for a little while now. And uh, you know what? Not much luck has come up. And the one time I don't do a live dig, the one time something nice comes up. I say nice, but it's a nice little artifact. And the lower numbers, which usually I thought would be a bit of tin foil. And it was there until I picked it up. However, it's just there. I think this is a bag seal. Any detail? Yes, there is some detail. It says B. B I or B L or something like that. I'm not sure what it's else it says. But yeah, definitely a bag seal. And a little artifact. Lovely. I potentially onto my first something of the day. I didn't dig this because it was really on the surface. You think I've dug deep, but it wasn't. It was here. So I'm not sure with this one. Oh, it was a 30 before. A bit weird, what's it going to be? Is this a button? I want to say it is, but it's just... Hmm. It's a bit of an odd one because I'm missing a shank. Maybe that's the remnants. Yeah, but I can't even see where the shank would have been. Anyone else can see. Do let me know. Is this is this a button? Or is this some kind of artifact? It's definitely not a coin. I say definitely, but I don't even know for sure. Um, looks more like a button. Missing its shank, to be fair. 
yeah, weird find that one, but still an artifact. Do I fly? But yeah, it's an artifact and pretty cool find. Nice. All right, so what I wanted to talk to you about is how do I get most of my permissions? Now, I'm going to be a bit swinging when I do this. Hopefully, I don't get too many signals on the way. <laughs> but um, most of the time, my permissions come through um, either connections, like family or friends, knowing any members, or um, they're from asking on a door, which usually 90% of the time, um, they say no. However, 10% of people have said yes. And through those uh, door knockings, I've, given a, I've got a permission, and then I've asked that farmer... Um, do you know anyone else who may or may not be able to give me their permission to their land? Um, and usually that works for me because they can trust you, they know, they know you before. And as long as you build that trust up with your farmer, um, then you're probably going to have more success in getting more permissions. Um, I always say to my farmer, um, anything I find, I'll always come and show you. No. Um, I'll come and show you. Um, just to give them some like some faith that what I'm finding is what I'm being truth uh, truthful with um, to them. I usually either go and knock on their door and show them, or I send them a picture, and I say to them, if anyone, if you want anything, then you can have it. Um, and obviously, we sort out the, the deals and the um, anything like that with them as well. Um, but being like that with your farmer helps you build up trust that they can go on then if you give you more fields and more land or they can go and um, show you through to um, a friend of theirs or someone who may or may not be able to give you another, another permission. So that's how, I give, how, how I've uh, gained most of my permissions. Um, I also know people who have emailed farmers in the past um, and they've also given, got, got permissions. Um, the permission that I'm on today is a campsite, uh, is a field next to this campsite. Um, and we asked the campsite um, owners whether we could go in the field next door and they said yes. So um, here we are, but like I said, it's 90% chance and they're going to say no and 10% yes. That's usually what we always think. Um, so don't go in there expecting to get every single one. I know you might be saying, thinking as well, oh, because you're a kid, um, they might give me some more sway. And yes, maybe that's true. Um, and I think maybe because... Um, doing this kind of thing, having this kind of passion for history is different for what you, some, some kids um, do, playing on their Xbox and all that jazz. But I just thought it was really important to show you how I get my permissions because I've seen a few comments asking me um, how I get permissions, um, especially in Derbyshire, um, and when I go on holiday. So maybe I'm the only one to recognise this. Um, but I think this field is from Region 4. I think it is. You can sort of see bumps and ups and downs, especially this bit here. You can see the bumps up and downs. So Region 4 can be medieval, can be like really, really old. Um, or it can be quite more, more modernised. But uh, yeah, I've had a few bits and bobs in this field before. So yeah, let's keep it going. All right, I've got another lovely 20 here. Bit of a crinky signal there. Lovely little dinky signal. 24, 23, 25, just there. Come on, be something nice. All right, let's have a look. Did I toss it all the way around? Still sounds nice, 26. And then maybe a little bit deeper in there. I think while we're here, actually, speaking of permissions, um, we might try and get a few more through the farmer mother and possibly go and knock on a few doors and some, some stuff like that um i used to get super not very confident and a bit shy and i still am i'm still mostly relying on my dad to get a lot of the permissions um i remember coming here actually last year or two years ago and um, asking the bar person and that was a big step for me because before i've been quite shy so Never. It's a hammered. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. Oh, oh, that is amazing. Oh my god. I think I found a hammered. Oh my god. I'm over the moon. I found silver. Old silver. Get in. I came here on a holiday, not expecting to find anything, just having a good time. You can hear my voice. I'm just having a good time. 
and it just things like this you know, make your day your week and this is the reason why i love this hobby you know like look at that like not not to do with this fine but look at that that is why i come out here and then it's just I love finding the history as well and that oh my gosh i can't believe it as well that is insane wow i think it is as well there just down there wow so it's just there look you can see it wow 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 it's bent but that is insane wow i knew there was gonna be something on here i've just got that feeling when you know it's there okay so we're here with mum finley tent literally is over there i just come out for a nice time out here um talking about the permissions and stuff like that and i just it was not expecting this whatsoever and it's there look all right so have a look it's definitely a little hammered coin I reckon this is an Edwin, I'm not too sure. I need to be very gentle because I don't really want it to snap or break. Let's, let's have a look together because I couldn't I couldn't clean it without using two bands. So we've, we've swapped hands, haven't we? And I'm recording I've Henry. left my spray because I found some earlier. Just very delicately. I'm trying to prise the dirt out. I want to see the other side. From what I'm seeing at the moment, you can just see it in my hand there, the shining... Yeah. of it i'm thinking maybe can in you see Edward. some detail on that then because there is detail I've yeah there's loads on i reckon if i got some spray on that that yeah. would have come up like absolute beauty so should we go back to the tent then i'm gonna go back to the tent look? and let's have a look wow so here it is got my spray finally nice clean oh it's a nice nick as well look at that one does it is it in edward i might send this a few people oh. Too sure on hammered coins. Oh, I don't wow. find many. It's a lovely nick, isn't it? It is. You know what? I'll wow. give it another clean up and I'll put some pictures up now, but that is a stunner. Wow, my kids like a good weapon. Awesome. Yeah, I did not, did not expect this today. I thought I was just going to come out for a nice time, talk to you guys about me and what I do, my little hobby of metal detecting and how I get my permissions. And for me today, it's made it all worth it, but it's um, fabulous. I don't know what it is yet. It's really nice condition, as you can see. I'm not too good on hammer coins either. I prefer my Georgian coins. I can identify, but I'll leave that to the specialist like Dan. He's really good at identifying coins. Maybe I can give it a shot myself and see. But yeah, this is a fantastic little hammered coin. Look at this signal. This is an awesome one. High 70s, 80. It seems a little bit big. Stones. So many stones. Probably one of the highest signals I've had yet. There we go. And can we see it? No, we can't. You reckon it's deep? You reckon it's on the surface? It's deep. Still 85. Still sounding pretty good. So, potentially... Potentially we're onto something green. Just here, look. Could this be a buckle? I think it is. The D buckle, look. There we go. So we're onto a buckle. Look at that. Quite a ways down as well. That's a good seven, eight inch, something like that. But yeah, buckle for the pop. Nice. All right, so I've got another signal. Just where my spade is. Quite a nice one. 22, 23, just there. Yeah, where my spade was actually. <laughs> so if you can hear any uh, machinery in the background and the farmer's doing some maintenance on his house. So some drilling and stuff. But this signal sounds really nice. 22 and it's in the clod in here. I've seen it, something silverish not silver but that sort of gray color 
I might be able to see some kind of thing just there where I slid my um my spade in. Actually, I don't even need that. I can see it. I think it's a button. So there's the imprint. Here yeah, looks to be like a button. Yeah, another one. Good sign. This area has more to offer. We found a hammered not too far away, over there. So let's keep going. Got a button. Nice. Twenty nine. From that direction. 29 and 30 from that direction. If that's not a brilliant signal, I don't know what it is. These are my favorite. I set them you know, a, couple of, a couple of targets away. Uh, this, these kind of 20, 30 signals are my favorite, but they could be anything. Right, let's see what it is. Just there. A screamer. Well, not really a screamer, but it's a, it's a, a really nice, delicious signal. One that I, th I think anyone should dig. Anyone will be able to dig this. Whether it be Deus 2, Manticore. It's an unmissable target, which is why I don't think this field's been done before, which is pretty cool. All right, let's have a look. Is that it? Is it another button? It is another button. Ooh, look at the shine on this. A shiny. Shiny. Brilliant. And the weight of it as well. I love, I love finding a button. Get in there. When you when you see me do like a face thing, you know net by now that I've usually found something either exciting or really really funny or good. In this instance, I think I found something again, something really really good. My fingers crossed. It looks really black. It's quite big. It's like the size of a half penny or a penny, uh, but it's very very blacky sort of shinish colour. It's got detail on it, and it was in the fifties. And I'm actually where I found my other, my hammered. Um, yesterday, because it's a two-part video um, in this awesome field. So I think I may have found either um, a silver a silver coin that's really old, or um, a jetton that's really black, or a half penny or a penny. But I'm positive, 54% sure, could be something quite unique that I haven't found particularly before. So I'm really, really excited to get stuck in. I'm waiting for Zad to come over and have a look. Um, he's literally like two seconds away from walking into the field, um, but I'm really excited. Let's have a look together. All right, yeah, I, I just can't believe it. I, I, this, this day, is it on? It's not even on. 45, 46. You can see that. I'm gonna have a look. Hold, hold it with me, Dad. Actually, oh, I'll, yeah. I'll... You know, take it in there. Yes. It's just in here. I've actually already picked this clod up, and you can just. What's it look like from the opposite side? Just see there, stuck in it. I love it when it comes out like this. But I'm pretty, like I said, it is. I'm pretty sure that's going to be a hammered, a big hammered coin. They could be an imprint, won't they? Do you want to just hold the camera? Yeah. I wanted the revealing. I'm a bit of addicted to this. Oh, yeah, come on. I don't think there'll be an imprint. I think it's just. Well, there is a bit of one. Oh, there is, yeah. Oh, wow, Dad. Dad, that is. Absolutely stonker. Oh, I think it's is that a groat? Probably a groat. That. Wow. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And there's, just, there's the imprint. And left. there's oh my gosh. An imprint left. Get in. Have a look oh my god, that is amazing. Right. I think I've got some water. I've got some water. Right, when I get the water, and we'll clean it up together. Wow. So let's give this a clean up together. So you can just see how black and oh yeah. Oh, it is. It could be. It could be a thingy still. I don't know if it was a. Oh, look at condition. Oh, it could be an Elizabeth. Could be an Elizabeth. I've never found one of this size though. Or oh, one on this condition. Look, look at that condition. You found a sixpence of one Elizabeth. Yeah. Oh, that is an Elizabeth. Look at the condition. Oh my. Wait, is this an Elizabeth? It's. I can see Elizabeth's fit, or is that? I can't see the rose. I don't know if they do them on... Yeah, a Mary or Elizabeth. A Mary reigned for 12, 11 years, something like that. Or maybe five or six. I can't see the rose. So I don't quite know who this is. It says Philip. I know. It, no, I can see is the it, head. It, it's, it's definitely a... Um, yeah, but it says Philip. And Mary. It's a Mary, I think. Oh my God, it's a Mary. 
Oh my gosh. I think it says Philip and Mary. M, can you see the M there? M A R. So I think that's a Philip and Mary. So this is a Mary. This is like, 50, like early 1500s. This is. Okay. Wow. This is really rare because Mary didn't reign for long. It was in like 11 or 12 years, something like that. That is amazing. Oh awesome. my gosh. This might be one of my best hammer things I've ever found. Excellent. Oh my gosh. the case I did not realize how successful or how much history was going to be in this field um, I came here on a holiday um, unlike any field I took it as it is I just went and I tried my best um, I was just out here just to discover what I could because um, I remember finding a fob thing down there last time so I was like mm, give it a shot because you never know what's going to be in a field until the moment you pull it out the ground um, and this hammered coin and the one we found yesterday are pure examples of that. I had no idea. I was not expecting it. Um, and yeah, it's just the look of the draw, really. And on that note, with permissions and this point of today's video, um, I was very, very lucky to get this uh, permission and it could have been, the farmer could have said no. And so up utmost respect to the farmer um, and a big thank you to the farmer for allowing me to be here. And I think that's the way it should be to for a lot of detectorists to um, or beginner detectors to go and show that support and that um, thankfulness to the farmer for allowing you to be on the field and show that by use, having respect for the land and the respect for them. And do you know what I do at Christmas? I, I buy them a wine, a bottle of wine or something like that. Well, not me, but my dad. Same point. Um, but yeah, just show my appreciation for being out here and allowing me to detect on their land. Um, but things like this really do, um, you know, just put the metal in the pedal. Is that, is that how it is? Something like that but I've never found one of these before. It's definitely a bucket lister. And I think it's quite rare, even though mum's found one is one of the first ever hammers. So you love to see it. I just, I'm a bit lost. That is amazing. Wow. I'm in the right area. Potentially I'm onto another hammered. Potentially. Now I've picked it up and as you can see, I've, I've had an absolute nightmare trying to get this out. Let me tell you. Um, I don't even know if it is yet, but I'm just going to be calm and assume it isn't. 30, 31, uh, of course there's air to it now. Um, I picked it up and thought, hmm, is this a button or is this a hammered? Hmm, <whistles> looks like a button now. Is that a button? Yeah, there's gonna be a button, isn't it? <laughs> oh, actually, there's nothing on it. There's not a shank. There's not a shank on it. Mm. So it's neither. But you know what? I'll take. Is it? It could be a coin. It could be a coin. I'll take a coin all day long. Um, it was either a button or it was a, or it was going to be something. Um, my heart did a little bit jump a little bit when I saw it. I cannot lie or complain. But hmm, it's definitely an odd one very thin i still think it's gonna be some kind of georgian farthing or maybe william farthing or i don't know it's, it's a very very peculiar find must have been on its edge because that was a very very iffy signal even though it was in the 30s oops dropped it um but that is another cool find for the pot i tell you now um first one of the first coins i've said of this hunt as well which is brilliant if you got any suggestions of what this could be please do put it in the comments i do read them i do give them a heart so put it down in the comments down below but uh yeah right let's carry on so i literally have just shouted over dad as they're walking over uh i think i found something pretty pretty cool it was a 34 i was like hmm it's very big it's scratchy do i live dig it i was like no it's just have it a dig see what it is it's cold miserable blah 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 you can just see it on the floor just there oh it was really deep down look at that And but I'm gonna wait for dad to come over, he's just getting through the gate now. And it's something green. There look. And I've already picked it up. 
So nothing like that, but it's got holes in it. It's got a floral design. This could be really, really old, really old. This is getting really exciting. Wow. All right, let's have a look at this. So it's just there. Looks old green, doesn't it? Old green. I'm not even too sure what this is. You've got any idea, Dad? Um, it's like a, is it? I don't know, actually. You want to hold it for a second it's while I just... It's too thin to be anything... Uh, old. I, I, I disagree. I think it's coming really old. Uh, it's too thin, I think, to be anything old. I've seen that kind of pattern, and not pattern. I mean, the, 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 the colour of it That's and the... Crest. That's mm. what I'm thinking. Let you clean it. See, for me, it's a bit too yeah. thin. The open work is quite thin, so it's more likely to be medieval. I think it's going to be medieval. It's more likely to be medieval, but yeah. I'm not quite sure. My lovely trousers. Yeah, no. Dirty. But yeah, I think maybe some some kind of... Um, it's, a, it's an open work brooch, I think, or an open work mount. Open work mm. I'll go for this though, then. That yeah, means same, you found, once found a um, death's head mount, which is open work. And that, uh, we'll put a picture of that up now. But... Um, yeah, um, it looks very similar to that sort of open workish, and that was medieval. Yeah, very, very cool find, very interesting as well. Nice. If you guys got any ideas what this could be or what you think it could be, put it down in the comments down below. We always read them and heart them. Nice. Another day, another detecting, and it's really getting late here in this field. Um, just, I've just been detecting here every, every day or so for a couple of hours. Um, probably a day or a, an hour a day or so the 50s in an area that i thought was quite trashy because it's right near that gate and it's just there look i'm not quite sure what it is but it looks peculiar to say the least yeah it's odd that really odd maybe part of a bowl but then again it's got the sort of crude sort of grayish patina uh, grayish greenish patina I thought that the first top of a cruciform brooch at the very first. But I'm not sure now. I mean, I wasn't positive about cruciform brooch anyway, but yeah, that, that is a pretty cool little piece of bronze-ish. Yeah, I think it's definitely bronze. You see how thick it is there. It's got some age to that. I'm sorry if the quality is not really too good. It's getting late here, very late. But you'll see a pin there and a pin there. So no idea on their age again. Um, it looks quite old. All right, so... Um, actually, I asked the farmer today, um, uh, hey so-and-so, I won't say his name, um, but you're a legend, thank you so much. But I actually, actually asked him um, if you know the, any of the farmers. Um, and it turns out he did. He did know some uh, some of the farmers and he's put me in contact with them and I've actually gone, to, I've gone and seen them today. So um, I'm very fortunate to have a few of the farms now in this, in this Dorset area that I can go metal detecting in. And one of them I will be detecting in tomorrow in some very historic land like extremely historic land bless him you're amazing too thank you um but uh yeah so hopefully that'll be a separate video um but it just shows to show that you respect the farmers and all this kind of stuff and uh they reward you back so respect the farmers is a big thing to getting new permissions and it's the trust you build up as well so uh, let's carry on hopefully we get a few more finds before it gets dark so as you can tell now, it's getting pretty dark and I'm actually re-entering the field after running back because I've just found something with an edge. Could be a button, could be a coin, or it could be something, well, you know what. Um, but the thing is, right, is that it's still something that I want to record, but just making sure, recording it anyway as I always do. Um, but it was a 20, really loud, really loud, but very scratchy, but it's really deep down there. And it could be something nice. Let's give it, let's give it a show, and uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, it's something very nice. So I'm really hoping you can see me now. It's getting really dark, um, and it's just oh, where, where have it gone? Is it there? Yeah, that's where it was. Just in here. And if you can maybe not see that, you can sort of see an edge just there. Very fine. Yes, it is a little hammered. I thought so. You can't really see it too well. There, that's definitely another little hammered. And I'm right next to this fence as well. Like, there's my tent and everything, and uh, that's my little hammered I've just found, which is amazing. 
It's unbelievable. Right, I'm gonna go and um, give us a little bit of a clean up and put my phone down because the focusing's not very good on the light. So bear with me. I think that's a little hammered. Wow. So I think it might be a long cross again, mm -hmm. which it is. My spray's not working. Yeah, <laughs> classic, isn't it? Just when you want it to. Yeah. Spray's not working, but you can look at the condition ooh, of I that. Can, oh my goodness, that's amazing. Oh, I can see it now. Wow. Come on, spray. There, it's spraying. Hey. Wow, look at that, Mum. <gasps> been hardly oh, clipped. Well, it's been hey, clipped heavily on this bit here. Yeah, it has. But look at the condition. Yay! Get in there. It's dark, super dark now, isn't it? Yeah, what time super is dark. it? It's. I think it was about... Nine o'clock? Nine o'clock, yeah. And I was like, hmm, I need to clear them my mind. And this is exactly how we've done it. Yes. This is three hammers on this one field, um, which is just amazing. <sighs> wow. <laughs> So, I can't believe this, but I think I found a bit of silver. You can see it glowing in the darkness just there. And here it is. 82. And it's there, look. It was really deep. Look at the depth of that. That's my hand. Really deep. It's shining there. It's a George V. It's an imprint. Look at the imprint as well. Look at that. Beauty. It's a sixpence, I would imagine. Wow, look at that. 1911, so it's um, the fullest silver you can have. It's so shiny, it's literally glowing on the camera. The condition of the silver coins from this field is amazing. I have found now, is that four silvers? Four silvers from this field. Three or four silvers from this field, which is insane. Wow. George V, sixpence. Pictures up now. Get in. And there you have it, folks. My week of holiday detecting in Dorset has sadly come to an end. Now, I've been detecting this little pat patch of half an acre field. Here, I don't want to show you too much more. Um, half an acre field. Um, right next to the campsite for a week um, and I want to say that the Manticore has frankly been an absolute masterclass on this field it has found so much and to say this field has been one but done before two it's been um, a lot of the areas in this field have been um, plowed up as there was loads of chicken wire and I found loads of chicken wire um, in this field too and it's been rebuilt up so a lot of this area has actually been rebuilt up by the farmer and landowner and I've yet still found so much um, on these fields so frankly I'm really impressed with the man's core it's found so much and I just can't, can't believe how much I found it has frankly surprised me that um, so much I came into this field it, you know, wanting to talk about um, permissions and all that kind of stuff. Hence the intro that I recorded way before I found anything. Um, I just wanted to share my message. Wasn't really expecting to find too much. Maybe a button or a coin or two. Um, just having a good time. Getting to uh, show you guys my how I get my permissions. And uh, about the, like, the success of it. Or, or what the, the key things are in permission um, gaining. Um, and yeah, I just didn't realize like how much was on this field. Um, and now, you know, um, I've done this field to death now. Um, I'm sure there's more to be found maybe by other people. I know for a fact that, uh, in our next video, which, um, I've got loads of upcoming ones, um, of me in a new, in a new farm because of this farm owner, as I was talking to the permissions wise, I've got myself a new farm from this farm owner who knows someone else who's put me in contact with another farm. So that'll be another video. And then next weekend, I'm away with some friends on my own permission. Um, and so you'll know the guests coming down, treasure hunting with Tom and Marie and uh, Digger Dan. They're coming down on my permission, which will be great fun. And then RCM and Detectable, they're coming out. So if you see me at them, come and say hello. The stickers, I've got them up here. Put a picture up now. That's a pic. Uh, that's um, I'll give you them out. Hand them out if you want to want to come and see me and say hello. I'll go and hand them out. Um, and uh, yeah, um, I'm also I don't say this very often, but I'm also on TikTok. Griff finds MD. Look me up. I post my little um, finds on there too. I'm on Facebook as well. 
Um, I've got a Facebook page and I'm also on Instagram. Um, so come find me on them. Uh, uh, follow me on all them. And uh, yeah, I, I post all my stories and stuff on them too. So thank you so much for watching. I know it's been, been a bit of a weird and bit of an all around pa uh, pace video with night detectings, early morning detectings, um, dark detectings, rainy detectings, sunny detectings. And frankly, it's been a, for me. It's been just been a blast to record and just get out there and show you that for me, this has been a bit of a holiday. I've just been out here detecting away, having a bit of fun, and finding quite a lot for me while talking about about permissions for the first part of the couple of days. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Um, and uh, yeah, so thank you so much. Don't forget, check, don't forget to check out Dragon Detecting, uh, Good Crif Finds, and uh, yeah. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you. At the next goodbye.